Hello and welcome to Car Solutions Online Store. In this video, we are going to talk about a solution for connecting a rear view camera in Toyota and Lexus, and more specifically, Lexus RX series and Toyota Prius cars. This particular solution is designed for multifunctional displays or MFDs of the fifth generation. Both monitors that have OEM navigation and monitors that don't have OEM navigation are supported. There are map, DAS and menu buttons in this monitor and no such buttons in this one. So, I will briefly describe how to distinguish the two types of monitors. There are monitors of the fourth generation that look quite similar to the fifth generation monitors, but they are not supported. And then connect the cable to see how everything works. So, we have these three monitors. The first one is a multifunctional display of the fourth generation of Lexus cars. The second one is a multifunctional display of the fifth generation that doesn't support navigation, meaning there are no map, test and menu buttons. And the third one is a multifunctional display of the fifth generation of Lexus RX cars. How to distinguish between the two types? Very simple. Icons of the fifth generation MFDs have a circular shape, and the graphics looks very good. The 4th generation MFDs have square icons, and their matrix resolution is 480 by 234 pixels. The resolution of the 5th generation MFDs is 800 by 480. So to sum up, you can check the version of your MFD by going into the menu and checking the shape of the icons. If they are circular and have a blue or a golden glow, as some models of the RX series have, then it's the 5th generation. If the menu looks like this, this cable unfortunately is not for your car. Let's connect everything and see how it works. This is how the rear side of the monitors looks. Do not be puzzled by the look of it. These are just our testing stands where we test different equipment. This is the Toyota Prius monitor. And this is the Lexus RX series monitor. There are 40 pin connectors on the back side of each monitor, which we will use to connect the cable. This is a very simple solution. It has an RCA connector like this for connecting the rear view camera, and also two wires, red and black, marked with plus 6 volts out and minus 6 volts out. These cables are used to power up the rear view camera. If your camera requires more than 6 volts, then you should power it up from the ACC line. There is nothing connected to this socket, so I can easily connect the cable. And then connect the power. The plus and the minus. I am using a special adapter to connect the camera first and then the power. All equipment should be turned off while performing the installation. Let's see what we've got as a result. Camera is connected. Let's switch to the rear gear using this emulator. No matter which mode you're in, be it settings, information, climate control, audio, the monitor automatically switches to the image from the rear view camera. So in other words, the camera behaves as an OEM camera. The climate control mode was on. Let's go to the audio mode. And, as you can see, the image from the rearview camera appears when we switch to reverse. Go to display, and we get the same thing. It works as an OEM camera. There is a message here that warns the driver to check the surroundings before moving in reverse. The language of the message depends on the language that your monitor is set to. Let's do the same with the RX series monitor. So, again, this is the RX series monitor. The connection is a bit different. Remove the OEM connector from the 40-pin socket and then connect the cable. Camera and power are already connected to the cable. We just need to connect it to the monitor. And then connect the OEM connector to the cable. Let's turn on the monitor and see how everything works. The car is on. Let's switch to the rear gear. Well, as you can see, the camera has switched on automatically. The camera will work the same way in any mode. Climate control, navigation, audio, settings.
If we switch to reverse gear, the image from the rear view camera appears automatically. So, as you can see for yourself, camera connection in Lexus and Toyota cars is quite simple. Just connect the cable and that's pretty much it. Like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel. If you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to use discuss or email to contact us. Take care and see you in our next video.